Have you ever pondered why a majority of traders fail in the stock market? Welcome to the harsh reality of trading mistakes. It's a realm where even the most seasoned traders can stumble, where one misstep can lead to significant losses. A realm where a single decision, a single moment, a single mistake can change the trajectory of an entire trading career. The truth is, the stock market is a challenging arena. It's a place of constant change, of relentless competition, and of vast uncertainty. But it's also a place where fortunes can be made, where dreams can be realized, and where financial freedom can be achieved. But let's be clear. Achieving success in trading isn't just about picking the right stocks, timing the market perfectly, or having an ironclad strategy. It's also about avoiding the pitfalls, the mistakes that so many traders fall into. You see, even the most experienced traders can make fatal errors. They can get too confident, too complacent, or too caught up in the excitement of the market. They can overlook the fundamentals, ignore the trends, or disregard the risks. And when they do, they can find themselves on the wrong side of a trade, watching as their hard-earned profits evaporate into thin air. But here's the good news. Understanding these common mistakes can help traders avoid them in the future. It can help them navigate the tumultuous waters of the stock market with a little more certainty, a little more confidence, and a little more success. So what are these mistakes? How can they be identified? And more importantly, how can they be avoided? This is what we aim to explore. We're going to delve deeper into these mistakes using real-life case studies for better understanding. We're going to shed light on the pitfalls, the traps, and the missteps that have tripped up traders time and time again. So, buckle up. It's time to confront the harsh reality of trading mistakes. It's time to learn from the failures of others, so you can avoid the same fate. It's time to take control of your trading journey and steer it towards success. Let's delve deeper into these mistakes, using real-life case studies for better understanding. Meet John a seasoned trader who fell into the trap of overtrading. John was your typical trader, smart, meticulous, and calculated. He started out making small, deliberate trades, each one carefully vetted and thought out. He saw early success, his portfolio grew, and he was on cloud nine. But then, something changed. John started making more trades, a lot more trades. You see, in the world of trading, there's this alluring but deceptive idea that more trades equal more profits. John fell for this. He started trading more frequently, using more of his capital, hoping to replicate his initial success. But instead of increasing his profits, he started to lose money. Overtrading. It's a common pitfall many traders, even seasoned ones like John, fall into. It's easy to get caught up in the adrenaline rush of buying and selling stocks, the thrill of the chase. But here's the thing. Overtrading can lead to increased risk. Making more trades means you're exposing yourself to the market's volatility more often. It's like running across a busy street multiple times. The more you do it, the higher your chances of getting hit. And when you're making trades left, right and center, it's harder to keep track of everything. You lose focus, you miss important details, and you make mistakes. You might buy a stock at a high price, sell at a low price, or hold onto a losing stock for too long, hoping it will bounce back. These mistakes can eat away at your profits, and even put you in the red. Overtrading can also lead to more transaction costs. Each trade you make comes with a fee. So, if you're making a ton of trades, these fees can quickly add up and eat into your profits. John's story is a stark reminder that more trades do not necessarily translate into more profits. Trading isn't about quantity, it's about quality. It's about making smart, calculated decisions, not rushing into trades. So, remember John's story, and don't let overtrading lead you down the same slippery slope. Now, let's consider Sarah's story. She ignored the market trend and paid the price. Sarah, a seasoned trader, had her eye on a particular stock. It was a company she believed in, a company she thought had immense potential. However, the market was telling a different story, the stock was on a steady, downward trend, a clear signal that investors were losing faith. Yet Sarah was undeterred. She was convinced that the stock would turn around. She was confident that her belief in the company's potential would ultimately pay off. So, she ignored the market trend, and she bought the stock. 
But here's the thing about market trends. They're not mere hunches or gut feelings. They're the collective wisdom of thousands, if not millions of traders. Each one of them, like Sarah, making decisions based on their understanding, their analysis and their beliefs. When a stock is trending downwards, it's not just a few people selling off. It's a multitude of investors, all coming to the same conclusion. This is not a good investment. Sarah learned this the hard way. The stock she bought, despite her convictions, continued to drop. Each day, the value of her investment diminished, her losses grew, and the market trend she had ignored became a harsh reality she had to face. It was a costly lesson, but an invaluable one nonetheless. You see, following the market trend isn't about blindly following the herd. It's about recognizing that the market is a complex system, shaped by the decisions of countless individuals. It's about understanding that, while we may have our beliefs and convictions, we must also respect the collective wisdom of the market. Sarah's case underscores the importance of respecting the market trend. It's a reminder that in trading, ignoring the market trend can lead to significant losses. So, as you navigate your trading journey, remember Sarah's story. Remember the cost of ignoring the market trend and let it guide your decisions. Finally, let's discuss Mike, a trader who underestimated the importance of risk management. Now Mike is a smart guy, he knows his way around the stock market, but the lure of potential profits clouded his judgment, leading him down a treacherous path. You see, Mike had his eyes set on a single stock that he believed was a surefire winner. He was so convinced by the potential of this stock that he invested a large chunk of his capital into it. All eggs in one basket, as the saying goes. Now here's where things get tricky. The stock market, as we all know, is a volatile beast. One day you're on top of the world, the next, you're down in the dumps. And that's exactly what happened to Mike. The stock he was so sure about took a nosedive, and with a significant portion of his capital tied up in it, Mike was left reeling from the blow. The fallout was substantial. Mike had not only lost a large sum of money, but his confidence in trading was severely shaken. He had allowed the allure of potential profits to overshadow the fundamental principle of risk management, diversification. Diversification in simple terms is spreading your investments across various assets to reduce risk. By putting all his money into one stock, Mike had ignored this principle. He had gambled on a single stock, and when that stock plummeted, so did his portfolio. You see, risk management is not about avoiding risk altogether. That's impossible in the world of stock trading. Rather, it's about understanding and managing risk to ensure you're not wiped out by a single bad trade. It's about having a safety net in place, a plan B, if you will. Risk management allows traders to survive the inevitable downturns and continue trading another day. It's about staying in the game, not winning or losing a single round. Mike's story is a sobering reminder of the importance of risk management in trading. So, as you navigate the turbulent waters of the stock market, remember to manage your risks wisely. Don't be like Mike, be better. Now that we've seen these real-life examples, let's summarize the worst trading mistakes. We've seen overtrading, ignoring the market trend, and poor risk management in action, and the toll they can take on a trader's portfolio. Overtrading, our first mistake, is a common pitfall, especially for those new to the game. The excitement and adrenaline can push you to trade more frequently than necessary, hoping to score big wins. However, this approach can quickly deplete your resources and multiply your losses. The key is patience and understanding that trading is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's about making calculated decisions based on thorough research and analysis. Next, we spoke about ignoring the market trend. The market, as we know, is a beast of its own, and it often pays to follow its lead. Ignoring the market trend can result in buying high and selling low, which is the exact opposite of what you want to achieve. Stay informed about market trends and use them to guide your trading decisions. The third mistake we covered was poor risk management. This is perhaps the most damaging mistake a trader can make. Without a solid risk management strategy, you're essentially gambling. It's crucial to set stop-loss orders and diversify your portfolio to mitigate potential losses. 
Remember, the goal is to preserve your capital first and then aim for profits. These mistakes can lead to significant losses, but they're not the end of the world. The ability to learn from these mistakes and refine your trading strategy is what will set you apart from the rest. It's a continuous journey of learning and improvement. Remember, every trader makes mistakes, but the best traders learn from them. Stay informed, stay focused, and trade wisely.